This is Luke 23, 32 through 39. Two others who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place that is called the skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. And the people stood by watching, but the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are king of the Jews, save yourself. There is also an inscription over him, This is king of the Jews. And one of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. These rulers and soldiers and this criminal weren't just mocking Jesus, they were also revealing something about what they believed about salvation. Every person or group mentioned here suggests that Christ proved himself by saving himself from this moment. Temporary salvation. They were mocking him, telling him to save himself from humiliation and the cross. But if Jesus were to save himself from this moment, then we would still be dead in our sin. If Jesus saved himself from the cross, then we would still be cut off from God, eternally condemned. This is not to make light of the pain and the agony that our Savior went through. Rather, it's to say that it's entirely possible that we want a temporary salvation when Jesus has eternity in view. Can he save us from our fears? Absolutely. But we must trust that God, who is sovereign over everything, is working all things out for his glory and for our good, even in our darkest hour. How deep the Father's love for us How vast beyond all measure That He should give His only Son To make a wretch His treasure How deep the pain of searing loss the Father turns His face away As wounds which mar the Chosen One Bring many sons to glory Behold the man upon the cross sins upon his shoulder ashamed I hear my mocking voice call out among the scoffers it was my sin that held him there until it was accomplished his dying breath has brought me it is finished I will not boast in anything no gifts no power no wisdom but I will boast in Jesus Christ his death in resurrection Why should I gain from his reward I cannot give an answer But this I know with all my heart His words have paid my ransom Why should I gain from his reward I cannot give an answer But this I know with all my heart His 
his wounds have paid my ransom. How deep the Father's love for us, that he would take wretches and make us righteous at the cost of the life of his one and only son, Jesus Christ. That Christ was crucified, bearing our shame and scoffing rude. In our place, condemned he stood, sealed our pardon with his blood. Hallelujah, what a savior. Shadow Book Church, in an effort to help you protect and magnify the undiluted gospel of Christ crucified. I want to make you aware of a resource uh, that we highly recommend to you by American Gospel. This is a series of documentaries chronicling and exploring and exposing the theological pulse of our secular age. Specifically, I want to draw your attention to uh, the film called Christ Crucified, which recently has just come out. And this deals with post-modernity and progressive Christianity's warping of the biblical gospel into a gospel substitute. I would say that this film has come out providentially for such a time as this, as we reflect even more deeply on the implications of Good Friday and the Resurrection Sunday that is soon to come. We want to recommend this resource to you in an effort to not only reflect on the gospel, but to help you be better equipped to refute the false gospels being propagated by our secular age and culture. And so with that, we recommend this resource to you uh, fully and hope that you will either rent or buy this documentary. We get no proceeds. We just are recommending the film because we, we believe that it will serve you and your family. You can rent or buy The American Gospel, Christ Crucified on Vimeo, Amazon Video, as well as Apple TV. And a link to rent or buy this film will be available after the trailer. Thank you. I'm concerned that people today don't know who God is. They do not know God because they've rejected Jesus Christ the Son and they stand condemned. Do you think that's respectful of other religions? Senator, I'm a Christian. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. You know, people say, like, when did you lose your faith? I'm like, it started 15 minutes after I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior immediately encountered stuff in scripture that I was like, that makes no sense to me. It's a generation of people who were not taught scripture, and so they were pretty quick to throw it out. Christ died for our sins. How does that work exactly? Like, by what cosmic mechanism does the death of Jesus take care of your personal sins? Jesus was volunteering to drink the cup of God's wrath that turns God into some kind of like divine child abuser. Does God really love me or has he simply been paid off? The Bible is so helpful to us if we just read it, you know. We're going to read things that offend our sensibilities. Did God kill Jesus? Yes. I don't think God killed Jesus. You cannot read the Gospels and think that. And how could that ever be good news? And this is the dilemma of the American pulpit. We've got a God of wrath versus a God of love. And I was watching a lot of my friends reject the Christianity they grew up with. If there is any other way to get around a fiery, eternal pit, why would we not be open to that idea? This creates a basis for what I'd call a natural religion and a universal religion. Why would you want to worship a God if you could imagine a better God? We are saved from God himself. That's not the God I worship. That's not the God of the Bible. When I survey the wondrous cross. This is the doctrine of Christianity. This is the doctrine that separates Christianity from every other religion in the world. Did Jesus go to the cross unwillingly? No.